One of the most anticipated transfers in League One this summer has finally happened. The saga has been going on for what feels like an eternity. No one really knew what was going on, where he was going to end up. It looked like Gillingham were going to be the favourites until the player was probably shown their away end and he was left thinking... What the fuck is this piece of shit? That's when he decided to take the drive up the M25 and the A2 to the valley and he immediately was thinking... Ah, that lovely? <laughs> he then pens a contract... Yeah, boy. And probably left a lot of Charlton fans doing this. Give your meat a good old rub. <laughs> it, it sucks that I can't play the video we used to announce him because it does play the real Slim Shady over the top and I don't really want another copyright strike on this channel. But may I have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Addicts Editions. Wow. <laughs> It, it, it's it's really, I, I do have to laugh for the fact that we are probably having the best transfer window or the best start to a transfer window under Thomas Sangard and he's leaving the club hopefully this month. I'm a bit shocked that we've been able to pull this deal off considering how long it's gone on and the situation of the club, but Jesus Christ, Dean Holden, he's cooking something special for sure. He really, really is. Harry Ice did it as a goalkeeper. Lloyd Jones, new centre back coming in. Apologies, I didn't do an Addicts Editions episode on him. Discussed it briefly in the League One transfer roundup. Good little sign in that one. And our third signing has just been announced mere minutes ago. And my God, this is a statement of intent for sure. It really, really is. I think we've got an absolute corker on our hands here. And like I say, I have no idea how we've pulled this off, but. Charlton Athletic have completed the signing of Cheltenham Town striker Alfie May. Well, fuck me sideways and call me Tiffany. We've got it over the line. It is a done deal. The 30-year-old pens a two-year contract with the option of a third year at SE7 for an undisclosed fee, rumoured to be around the quarter of a million pound range. Where we've got that money from, I have absolutely no idea. And I don't really care, to be honest with you, because like I say, I'm just absolutely stunned that we've got this deal over the line and Alfie May is a Charlton player next season. Wow. A, a real statement of intent signing. This is this is big. This is really, really big. I'm just hoping, though, that after all this hype and all of this talk in the press and the media about him coming, that he lives up to the bill. It would be bloody typical if he would come to this club after all this hype and completely flop. You guys know the drill by now. We're going to get into the club's article and then we will discuss the transfer. I don't think I need to tell you what my reaction is and my thoughts on the signing because you probably could have gathered it already from the intro, but let's talk about it in more detail. So let's get into the club's article. Dalton Athletic are delighted to announce the signing of prolific striker Alfie May from Cheltenham Town for an undisclosed fee. It still sounds even, it's mad to even say it. I still don't know how we've been able to pull this off. But anyway, amidst interest from a host of other clubs, the 30-year-old has penned a two-year contract with an option of a further year to become the Addicts' third summer signing following the acquisitions of Harry Eisted and Lloyd Jones. May arrives at the Valley having enjoyed a formidable three-year spell with Cheltenham Town, scoring 67 goals in 165 appearances, 43 of which have come in League One over the past two seasons. That form saw him scoop Cheltenham's Player of the Player of the Year, Players Player of the Year, Supporters Player of the Year, and Norwegian Robins Player of the Year two years running. He was named in the Skybet League One Player of the Month for March 2023 after bagging five goals, including a spectacular strike from inside his own half at Peterborough United and an assist in an unbeaten month for the Gloucestershire side. After completing his move, May said, I'm delighted to be here. I'm a local lad, so to come back home with my family means a lot. You see the support that Charlton have at the Valley and what it brings as a stadium when the fans get going and you want to be a part of that as a player. I can't wait to get started. Manager Dean Holden is thrilled to bolster his forward ranks. He added, I'm absolutely delighted that Alfie has chosen to sign for Charlton Athletic. He's a player I've been keen to recruit since the very end of last season and he's shown a great deal, and he showed a great deal, sorry, of desire and hunger to join us over other clubs. 
As well as being a proven goal scorer, his work rate for the team is exceptional. And from the first conversation we had, I was really impressed with not only his ambition, but also his humility. I can't wait to start working with him. CEO Peter Storey said, the purchase of Alfie May is one we've been working on for a while. There were a lot, a lot of clubs looking to sign him, but he was a key target for us and he wanted to join us. So we're all really pleased we've got the deal done and he's a Charlton player. We're aiming to bring a squad that can compete for a top six place in the, next, in the league next season. And it was important we added a goal scorer of Alfie's ability. Like a lot of other fans' clubs, I'm looking forward to watching him in a Charlton shirt. Born in Gravesend, May began his senior career in non-league with Corinthian, Billericay Town, Chatham Town, Bromley, VCD Athletic, Era from Belvedere, Farnborough and Hive Town, who he bagged 43 goals for in two seasons to earn a move to Doncaster Rovers in January 2017. Following three years in South Yorkshire, which included promotion from the third tier, the forward joined Cheltenham. He fired the Robins to the League 2 title in his second season at the completely Suzuki Stadium before establishing himself as at League 1 and becoming the club's record EFL scorer. It's a real statement of intent. It really is. It is. I, I genuinely think it's that big. And dare I say, we haven't signed this calibre of a striker at this level since Lyle Taylor. And I think that this really, on paper, should be our next Lyle Taylor. But I do want to make reference to a brilliant tweet I saw, um, I think it was yesterday. May has the potential to become the next Lyle Taylor, but he also has the potential to become the next Nicky Ajoza. If you guys remember when we got relegated to League One um, back in 2016, we signed Nicky Ajoza, who was extremely prolific in League Two from Swindon Town. Scored an abundance of goals came to us and we all know how that fared. It didn't really work out. I have seen on social media, quite a few Charlton fans have been kind of talking down the signing and kind of like, oh, why is he the answer to our problems? I mean, ultimately, striker is a position that we've badly needed in the summer. And I think especially more so now when we have injury concerns. And it does kind of explain why we have ramped up our interest to sign May um, with obviously Chuck Zanico reportedly being out since this, since September, until September, and Miles Lieburn coming off against Welling in a protective boot. A striker ultimately is the position that we badly needed and we needed someone that was going to be able to score goals consistently at this level. And Alfie May has that track record in abundance over the last couple of seasons with Cheltenham. Now, going through his career, obviously, he has spent quite a lot of his career in non-league. Hive Town, of course, being the main um, source of his goals, where he got 37 goals in 45 games in the uh, Isthmian League Division 1 South, um, which I think is the a seventh or eighth tier of uh, English football. I think it's the eighth tier. I'm not entirely sure, but... Nevertheless, his goal record was absolutely ridiculous there. And that, of course, earned him his move to Doncaster. Now, of the four seasons he was with Doncaster, he spent three of those in League One. He helped them get promoted in 2016-17 with three goals in 16 appearances in League Two. So not the best of goal returns. And to be fair, his goal return really at Doncaster wasn't that great. His best goal return was in 2018-19, where he bagged 11 goals in 47 appearances in all competitions. But only two of them came in League 2 with 34 games played in League two, League 1, sorry. So not the greatest of returns um, there. And he didn't have the greatest scoring return at all at Doncaster. In total, he made 117 appearances, scoring 23 goals. So not the best of returns in the world. But anyway, he got his move to Cheltenham. He stepped down to League 2. Where, again, in League 2, his goal record wasn't exactly great. 2019-20, the back end of that season, six goals in 12 League 2 games. So a goal every other game, that's actually not that bad of a return. Then he got nine goals in 44 games. Again, not the best of returns in the world. It could be a lot better. But nevertheless, he did help them get promoted to League 1. And then, of course, Cheltenham's first season in League 1, the 2021-22 season, and also the season just gone, something clicked for him. And it absolutely, he set the league alight. He has set this league alight. The last two seasons, 2021-22, 23 goals in 46 games in League One. That is a goal every other game. That is absolutely ridiculous. And then the season just gone, 39 games, 20 goals. So he has hit 20 plus goals in the last two seasons in League One. And I believe has scored more goals in the last two seasons than any other striker that has played at this level. So by those numbers, we have signed a serious talent at this level, a real serious talent. And like I said, a player that we badly needed. The best thing about it as well, last season, with the 20 goals that he scored, all of them came from open play. Not one of them was scored from the penalty spot. We have a very clinical finisher on our hands. And I've seen, you know, the highlights and the goals that he scored from our announcement video. The guy can half strike a ball. He really can, especially that goal against Peterborough, which the article did allude to, um, I did mention 
ridiculous goal, one of the goals of the season by far, you know, the fact he had that technique, you know, to touch it down the way he did and then to hit it from inside his own half and catch the keeper off guard and score from inside his own half is absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, I have seen, like, as I say, a number of people talk down the signing and kind of go like, oh, this isn't a good signing. On paper, it is a good signing. But I, again, I refer back to the tweet about him being potentially the next Lyle Taylor or potentially the next Nicky Jose. There is a lot of pressure on his shoulders to deliver here. And I did see, again, a lot of people, a lot of Cheltenham fans in particular, or a couple of Cheltenham fans anyway, saying that um, it's not really a big step up for him uh, coming from Cheltenham to Cholton. I mean, realistically, Cholton finished above Cheltenham last season and we are, without being too disrespectful to Cheltenham, substantially a bigger club than Cheltenham. We, it is a bigger club with a bigger expectation and a club that should really be pushing for top six. Dare I also say that he's moving to a club that have a better quality of players and players that can give him more opportunities and give him more quality because ultimately Cheltenham, he was the best player by a country mile in that squad. So there is a lot of pressure with him coming to Cholton and that's something that he wanted. You know, he wanted the move. He wanted to come to a team where he can challenge himself. And I would like to think that going into this season, this is a challenge for him, you know, and I think that there is, as I say, there's going to be a lot of pressure on his shoulders for him to deliver because we have really struggled to find a key man up front. We haven't had another Lyle Taylor. We haven't had that. And on paper, Alfie May could be the answer to that. But like I said, it would be very typical if he was to come here and he'd absolutely tank and become the next Nicky and Jose or Josh McGuinness or Lee Novak or the Joe Dodu, the several shocking strikers we've had at this level over the last few years. But I think that... All we can really do is wait and see how he fares in a Charlton shirt because he has the track record. He's been there, done it, got the T-shirt at this level. He has scored a ridiculous amount of goals at this level. And let's see how he fares, man, because seriously, I do think on paper we have got a serious, serious talent at this level coming in up front. It's going to be interesting to see where we utilise him because he can play sort of anywhere across the front three. But I think if we used him as a winger, it'd be stupid and a waste of a, a talent when he clearly his best position is through the middle. But there is a lot of discussion in terms of what we're going to do in terms of formation. I mean, it's been heavily hinted this season that we're going to be playing a back five. So I'm not entirely sure whether we're going to play two up front or we're going to play with wingers or wingers with wing backs, obviously. But I think that the, the potential of a Alfie May and Miles Lieburn combo, them two up front, could be a seriously good combination. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we do with the team in general this season, but also how Alfie May fares. This is like a, a really exciting transfer, not just for Charlton fans, but also for League One. Like I said, this has been going on for so long now. People have been waiting for this deal to get done. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to see how he fares. And I'm really hoping he lives up to the bill, man, and he lives up to the excitement and he can live up to the expectation and the pressure that's going to be on his shoulders because, of, like I said, no doubt there is going to be pressure on his shoulders to deliver with the goals that he has scored and hopefully he can live up to that. He can hit the back of the net for us and he can help us challenge in League One this season. So... There it is, guys. That is it for this episode of Alex Editions. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, can you possibly leave a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and turn on those post notifications so you're notified of every time I upload a new video. Welcome to Charlton Athletic, Alfie May. I still can't believe we pulled this off. I don't know where we've got a quarter of a million from to sign him from, but I don't really care. The deal's done. We've got him over the line. What do you guys think about the signing of Alfie May? Let me know in the comments below. I, I still can't believe we pulled it off. Serious statement of intent signing. Really, really good start to the transfer window considering what the club is going through at the moment with the whole takeover saga. We've really made some solid additions to the team that I think are going to help us out. And Alfie May is just the tip of the iceberg really so far. Absolutely ridiculous signing. Thank you again for watching this video, guys. Hope, Alfie, you can settle in well at SC7 and you can find the back of the net for us regularly. No pressure, mate. This has been Tyler Ronitson. Have a nice day and I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you all then.